Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Bush, and bring you guys another video. Guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been, it feels like a while since we've done a longer video. A lot of my last videos have been very, very short, and that's just because I wanted to get to the point and get it out to you guys. But guys, in today's video, stay tuned. We're going to announce how some of you guys can actually get Season 5 Battle Pass for free, because I know a lot of people out there can't afford it. Their parents won't give them money to get it and stuff like that. So we're going to cover exactly how some of you guys can get it completely free. But before that, that I want to talk to you guys a little bit about season five and then I want to break down how some of you guys can actually earn easily ten dollars by getting it and then I can give some of you guys it for free so starting off season five guys season five is amazing I love it um was it as hyped up as it should have been like season season four was probably the most hyped up season just because of the meteor coming in everyone thought it was going to destroy the map nobody knew what was happening I feel like season four more people were involved in the story just because we saw it in the sky every single day but then at the end of season four they ended up finally finally teasing season five with the rocket launch I think it was in week eight or nine of season four so the seasons last for about 10 weeks each so around season or week eight that's when they actually finally released the rocket and we saw the time warp in the sky we started seeing things spawn on the island and stuff like that and then we started to see a little bit of a teaser of what season five was going to be about so we didn't have as much time to hype up season five as we should have it was literally like two weeks of just everybody jamming in all the information and theories and stuff like that in the last two weeks of season four so season five did not get as much hype as it season four did i'm gonna agree with that but is season five as good as season four honestly i like season five i mean again it's something new season four was amazing but i wasn't too happy with the skins that they gave the omega was sick when it was fully upgraded the carbide was pretty cool when it was fully upgraded now i did like that feature added to it um so that way when people if they did buy it out all the way to the omega skin they actually had to grind the game out and unlock the armors and stuff like that to actually get the full effect of the full Omega so I like that a lot I like that feature how they added that within the game and you can customize it completely and then they brought the same exact thing to season 5 so if you guys don't know if you don't have the season pass yet basically the first skin that you get is a human it's a guy um, and that, that guy is from planet Earth I basically because worlds collide if you didn't see in the trailer there was a guy spray painting on the Durr burger thing in California so I think the Durr burger burger landed in California in the real world our world like right now and there was a guy that spray painted onto it and stuff like that and then in the trailer he got teleported into the fortnite game so this means that i'm gonna cover this actually in another video so i don't want to spoil anything but he got teleported into this game so that is the first skin that you unlock in the season pass and then the last skin is a viking and again these skins are kind of ugly at level one just like the omega and the carbide skin right when you unlock it they were very ugly there was nothing cool about it people were like what this is really the final skin but once you learn that you could actually get armors and stuff like that by leveling the actual skin up itself by getting xp points or stuff like that then you start to see the full effect of the skin and honestly it looks freaking amazing it looks sick and this is the same exact thing with season five man the skins are kind of plain and boring at first but once you actually unlock it and unlock the full potential of the skin you start to realize like dang this skin is actually really really nice like it's a lot better than i thought it would be um so i'm pretty happy about that the skins i'm pretty happy about everything else it's still very confusing because there's like other disco dancing skins and stuff like that there's vikings there's all kinds of different things and what i thought it was going to be was strictly all old-fashioned stuff all pirates all vikings all um cowboys all old-fashioned stuff nothing but old-fashioned stuff but you gotta remember it's worlds collide so it's not like it's going to be only the old-fashioned stuff it's going to be old-fashioned mixed in with today's genres so it's going to be mixed in together with everything so we're going to get all types of different things now the superheroes we were super hyped up about superheroes because we thought about like spider-man batman we thought about like superman and all these insane super iron man all these insane superheroes that everyone loved to see they would love to see it in the game but they gave us these kind of whack superheroes you know these superheroes that like it was it was their own custom superheroes but until the end of the season they didn't start releasing the really cool superheroes at the start of the season i'm gonna be honest the superheroes that they were releasing to us were kind of like they, they, they weren't the best in the world so i wasn't too happy about it um but again they ended up pulling through and showing us what they really are capable of and it was a lot of fun now now we're going to talk about map changes because season five had a lot of map changes do i like season five map changes Honestly, yes, I love it. I love how they added a desert region. Um, I don't like how at nighttime, 
the desert looks pink i think they need to change that but as you guys can see in the gameplay it is nighttime and the desert looks pink and i don't like that um i know they did it so that way you can see things at, even at night because in the desert it's probably really dark and it's hard to see shadows and stuff like that but um i don't like how it's pink i think they should make it a little bit better uh it just looks really weird and funky with like the mountains looking pink and stuff like that but in the daytime the desert region looks amazing it looks sick it looks awesome and then if you guys know the viking boat over at the left side over by snobby shores on the top of the mountain that is amazing too because it has snow on top of it when you fly over it you see snow i wish like that half of the map was all snow like i love i love the different climate changes in the game and i wish they would add it a little bit more here and there throughout the game instead of just like the desert just being i like how the desert is because the desert covers one specific section of the region and then i wish the snow would cover one specific section and it would be like that completely now we're going to talk about dusty divot because dusty divot dusty has changed every single season basically so season one we saw dusty season two we saw dusty and stuff like that but then when the meteor hit dusty divot just completely changed and now season five dusty divot isn't like the little divot that we're used to it's a new whaling woods basically there's a lot of trees there's there's little rivers and i think throughout the season of season five it's going to change as well you guys it's not going to only just be the trees and stuff like that i think i think vegetation is going to grow even more over there to the point where we're not going to see any dirt it's going to be fully like a paradise place and maybe maybe they're going to build something inside of that place so it's not just like another whaling woods in the center of the map again we don't know we have to wait to find out but knowing epic they've been doing map changes throughout the game since the beginning um not even every season it's been like every probably three four weeks they do a map change where something changes within the map so i definitely think they're going to be doing some changes here and there within this game again it's just the start of the season so we're starting to see new things but let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think of this do you guys like the map changes do you guys like the update do you guys like how there's a desert region now i don't really land here too much but honestly think about it lonely lodge who honestly went to lonely if you went to lonely lodge i'm sorry i don't mean to diss you or anything like that but honestly who went to lonely lodge it was just a des it was just a, a wasteland like nobody went there it was kind of boring and plain nobody cared to go there and loot or anything like that the only thing that was good about that place was the mats you can get wood extremely extremely quick but besides that the place was just it was boring there was nothing special to it it was kind of whack so i'm glad they replaced that whole dusty divot prison area with this paradise palace stuff and stuff like that the desert and stuff i really i really do enjoy that i really do enjoy also fatal fields up at the top of the map you know how we had anarchy acres and fatal fields i, I always get them mixed up with the top farm i think that's fatal fields that place ended up gotten completely destroyed i don't know why um it got destroyed completely and they replaced it with a golfing area which is kind of cool because if you actually have the season pass you have this emote where you can golf and it makes the game a lot funner i think it's actually a free emote so um once you golf you can actually hit it into the hole and pe you can do like trick shots with your friends like so far me and my friends what we do is we'll try to see who can hit it the farthest and make it in the hole so i definitely like how they added that in the little uh farm area up there but do i miss the farm field no not really because i didn't really land there i know some people did like landing there because it was a good spot to land because there's a lot of open space so you can see your enemies and there was good loot there as well so i do see some people's pain and losing that again r.i.p fatal fields i hope it was fatal fields not anarchy acres but r.i.p to that place right there guys this this update i love this thing but now that we're we're done covering basically the map changes of what i think of it and i want to know your guys' opinions all in the comment section below um we're gonna cover it how you guys can get the battle pass for free so guys i'm doing a massive giveaway on the channel you guys this i we always do giveaways on skins but the battle pass is ten dollars so i'm going to pick five winners that's fifty dollars five winners for every thousand likes we get on this video you guys that's a lot to ask for but if we hit a thousand likes i'm picking five winners if we hit two thousand likes i'm picking 10 winners if we hit six thousand likes i'm picking 30 winners you guys six thousand likes i'm picking 30 winners which is insane to think about 30 winners is what 300 dollars that's it's a lot of money it's probably not 300 dollars i'm not that good at math but it is a lot of money you guys so i'm doing this for you guys again the likes really show support and love on the channel if you guys want to follow me on my social media 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 i'll announce more of the giveaways and stuff like that here and there but guys if you do want a chance to win comment down below leave a like on the video and follow me on my twitter you guys 
I hope a lot of you guys actually enter in this giveaway. I, the more likes means the more winners. Uh, the more people that comment on the video, I'm going to actually pick through the comments and see if you follow me on Twitter and stuff like that and see how interactive you are with the channel. But guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. Again, the more likes, the more winners. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.